Number one, an act requiring a report concerning the placement of children pursuant to the Interstate Compact on the Placement of Children. And I wanted to ask Representative Lanou if you'd like to speak to this. Uh, certainly. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, good uh, afternoon to you. Uh, yeah, the uh, the Interstate uh, Compact on the uh, Placement of uh, Children, uh, the ICPC, um, uh, what I would like to what I'd like to see accomplished with this is that we establish a uh, a state task force to examine this uh, compact among the 50 states, District of Columbia, and the uh, U.S. Virgin Islands. Um, this is it's a very encompassing uh, compact. It has a lot of components uh, to it. Uh, however, w one area I definitely want to I would like to see examined is how Connecticut is bound by another state's decision. So it can be a matter of an issue where a family is traveling to another state, traveling through another state. Um, a, a situation or alleged situation could take place, and that state makes a, a decision as far as um, who's going who's gonna to have custody of children, and then it gets re they, get, they return to the state of Connecticut. And um, Connecticut, based on this compact, um, it has to uh, place the children wherever this other uh, state uh, or territory uh, dictates. Um, I do uh, want to just, I would like the uh, task force to take a look at this, uh, see if there's any flexibility where the uh, compact could be modified, where Connecticut can at least have uh, discretion, where if we, if we feel necessary, we can look at another state's decision, how it re relates to Connecticut residents. To make sure the residents, most importantly the children involved, are protected and the right decision was made by the children and also the parental rights. And again, just be, um, can, uh, can there be a modification to that compact? How realistic is it? And uh, I think we need to at least, uh, I think it's worthy of an examination. Um, it all it started with me. Uh, there was a, uh, some constituents that reached out to me. Uh, it was a local issue. It was a military family uh, that had roots in Connecticut, were getting reassigned to Connecticut uh, from the West Coast. They happened to be in a, another state uh, for a short period of time, visiting relatives, and it was a alleged situation that, that happened. So uh, I certainly want to give them the opportunity to testify, give their, uh, give their testimonials, uh, have their day in court, so to speak, before the state of Connecticut where we can uh, we can hear them out uh, uh hear their their side of it and um make a decision going forward as far as uh, uh the, is there a task force uh, warranted and for how long and what the scope is and what should be uh, made up of that task force so again i think uh, moving this to a hearing um is a, is a good thing um i certainly want to thank you madam chair and the ranking members of the committee for uh, moving this forward and i certainly look forward to the testimony from those involved. Thank you, Madam Chair.